Hi, my dear students. Very good morning to all. All are fine. I hope you are fine. Did you learn last class portions? Okay, my last class. What we discuss? We discuss about leadership. Uh, what are qualities of leadership? Teamwork, motivation, competence, skill, responsibility, communication, power, and support. Yes, these are some qualities of leader. Today, I am going to teach lesson 8, treasures of our motherland. Okay, what is the meaning of treasures? Treasure means values. Yes, values of our motherland. Okay, here is it. From this chapter, first we are going to discuss about heritage. Okay, what is heritage? Do you know what is heritage? Heritage is the full range of our inherited traditions, monuments, object and culture. Okay, what is the meaning of heritage? Heritage means inheritance, means paintings, is art and craft, is all will be under the heritage, is yes? inheritance, yes? Okay, now take a book page number 52, take a book page number 52. India has a rich heritage of monuments, temples, mosques and churches. Okay. There is a rich heritage of monuments, temples, mosques and churches. Yes. They are an important part of our culture. Yes. This is an important part of our culture. We also have a equal rich heritage of arts and craft. Yes. The ancient books and textiles. So, follow the heritage. Yes. Some of these beautiful things can be seen in the National Museum. Yes. Some of these beautiful things can be seen in the National Museum. Then, you see, just as a strong tree, it is a strong, the tree has a strong root. Yes. What are the parts of the plants? You know. Yes. That is the plant into the soil root. Yes. Just as a tree strong, if it has strong root, a nation is culturally strong if it has a rich heritage. Yes, a nation is culturally strong if it has a rich dense heritage. Yes, the famous Taj Mughal is in Delhi, is Agra, is the case of Ajinda and Ellora. And um, Zagna Temple in Puri, yes, and Jama Masjid in Ahmedabad. Okay, these are the heritage. Tell, tell the story of our country through the centuries. Yeah, you clear? Okay, the treasure of our ancient civilization deserves to be enjoyed by many more generation of Indians after us. Yes. It is a tourist place, is our country. Yeah, most of the people visiting these areas. Okay, unfortunately, with the increasing pollution, so okay, you know the um, populations. Okay, population is increased means they are things will be destroyed. Yes, unfortunately, with the increasing pollution and overcrowding. Yes, so what are the types of pollutions? Noise pollutions, air pollution, soil pollution. Population is more means the pollutions yeah yes correct okay and with increasing pollution and overcrowding many of the monuments and other things of which will be destroyed because of the pollution okay we don't protect them yes because we are using uh, some unwanted things yes some, some we are using plastic this is burning plastic means uh, this smoke it's it will pollute the uh, yes, we are using the motor vehicles. Is for the air. Yes, so this way the monuments will be destroyed. Yes, many of us spoil our own heritage by scratching on stone. Yes, inscriptions and damaging the walls of ancient monuments. Yes, some of them using the stone and the knife. They scratch the buildings. That's why we lost the life. Yes, it is a. It is one of our duty to protect our um, architectural treasure from damage and preserve it is for future generation. Yes, protection of this architecture is our duty. For what? For future 
generation. I also want to know what are the monuments present in our country. This is what are the heritage. Yeah? Are you clear? Yes. You are going to take page number 50. Page number 50. Let's read. Okay. What is the title? Every bee tells a story. Yes. Every bee tells a story. Okay. It was the first period after lunch. So after period, the first period. And the students of class 6 are still sitting down when the teacher walked in. Okay, the students of sitting in the class. Yes, the teacher walked in the class. What is she going to say? Take out your history books. Take out your history book. She said not. Okay, she didn't say anything. She, did, she simply saw some questions. Okay, means... She wants to be a girl in the front row. Okay. Her name is Kalpana. Okay. Name is Kalpana. Does your mother allow you to uh, scribble on the wall at home? Scratch. Yes. Scratch on the wall at home. See the teacher asks Kalpana. Okay. Does your mother allow to um, scribble on the wall at home? Scribble means scratch. Yes. Scratch on the wall at home. Kalpana. Look startled. Okay, startled shock. Yes, sudden shock. Startled. Had her mother been complaining about her? She shocked and thinking. Yes, her mother uh, been complaining about her. No, ma'am. She said in a small, scared voice. Yes, no, ma'am. Okay. Then she called the teacher called Robert. Okay, who so Robert? Would your father like it if you take out your pen knife and uh, carve your name on the dining table? Okay, this was the Robert. Would your father like it if you take out your pen knife and carve your name on the dining table? What was going on in uh, mom's mind? He is thinking, what is going on in mom's, mom's mind? Why is she asking these strange questions? The students are thinking, what is going on in the ma'am teacher's mind? Yes, ma'am's mind. Why is she asking these strange questions? Of course. Yes, not. Um, said Robert said, no, ma'am. Yes, the teacher, then not all. Okay. A teacher took a small phone photograph. Okay, small framed photograph. Out of her bag and showed into the class. Okay, after this incident, she showed one photograph. Okay, it was the picture of an old man seated in the chair. Okay, the photograph is a one man, old man picture. Okay, he is sitting in the seated in a chair. Okay, this is someone's grandfather. Students think this is someone's grandfather. She said, then with a sudden movement. Okay. See, fling the photograph to the floor. Okay, so you throw the photograph to the floor. What will happen? The glass in the frame shattered into pieces. Okay, the glass in the frame shattered into pieces. It broken. Yes, the students were shocked. That time, the students were shocked. They came out from behind their desk. Okay, and then the students came out from the desk. The teacher took out a string of old black and gold beads. Okay. Okay. What will come out? They came out from the chair. The teacher took out a string of old black and gold beads. This was worn by someone's great grandmother. Okay. The beads were worn by someone's great grandmother. She said loudly. She took the string and the beads scattered and rolled around the floor. Okay. After she turned and string the beads um, scattered and rolled around the floor. The children gasped. The children gasped. Okay. Scatter means disperse. Scatter means disperse. Okay. The teacher took the string and the beads scattered means disperse and rolled around the floor. The children Gas, gas means blow. Yes. Would you allow anyone to treat your grandparents things like that? The teacher asked the students. Okay. Would you allow anyone to treat your grandparents um, thing like that? Asked the teacher. No, ma'am. 
Then came the chorus. The chorus is the students reply, no ma'am. Okay. Yeah, this H, this is what we are doing to our wonderful treasures every day in India, said the teacher. Yes. What are you doing? In the, is, you know, we write to an ancient building. Yes, there's, you know, some of the small babies. Yes, they scratch into the some monuments. Yes. Some important heritage places. Yes. They destroy the beauty. Yes. Okay. Listen, the last before para. Okay. Yeah, this is what we are doing to our wonderful treasure every day in India, said the teacher. Okay. We write an ancient building. We carve our names on old monuments. We show no respect to the heritage of our ancestors. Yes. Don't you think we have to learn to respect our art and craft? Okay. Don't you think we need to spread this message far and wide? The children were stunned. Stunned means unable to react. Okay. Children shock. Okay. The teacher says something. Yes. What the teacher said. Don't you think we have to learn respect our arts and craft? Don't you think we need to spread this message far and wide? The children were shock. Okay. Slowly, equal stood up. Stand up. Okay. Stand up. Up slowly one by stand up and started collecting the beads from the floor. Okay, first one boy stand and collect the beads from the beads from the floor. Other joined him. They disturb the beads till each child had one. So, okay, after all the children came out and collect the beads. Okay, then after the teacher distribute and give beads to all the students. Okay, after the teacher said, I hope. You will never forget this lesson. Okay, you will never forget this lesson. Said the teacher. Okay, each bead is a remainder of a heritage. We all share. Okay, from the teacher distributes on the seat to the students. Yes, the teacher said each bead is a remainder of the heritage. We all share. This heritage is our treasure. Are you clear, students? Yeah. When you protect our heritage, okay, when you respect, okay, ma, then you see from there are some questions. Yes, listen. Why did the teacher throw the framed photograph and the beads on the floor? Why? Why the teacher throw the framed photograph? The teacher threw the framed photograph and the beads on the floor because she wanted to make an Impression on the student's mind. Yes, she want to give enthusiasm. Yes, she want to make an impression on the student's mind. They would never forget. They would never forget. Next, you see, why is our heritage valuable to us? Why is our heritage is valuable to us? Our heritage is valuable to us because it holds the wonderful treasure handed down to us by our ancestors including all our art science crafts yes art and craft yes you know these are some of the paintings are there yes it's very beautiful the museums also have some of the paintings yes do you think the children in the story would ever forget this lesson why the children say oh, forget this lesson no, the children in the story would never forget the lesson because the teacher gave them a practical and dramatic example of how we thoughtlessly destroy our heritage. Okay, now the children in the story would never forget the lesson because the teacher gave them a practical and dramatic explanation of how we thoughtlessly destroy our heritage. How we are destroying our heritage, the teacher dramatically teach the lesson yeah now we are going to take page number 53 yes and that's our story listen how to preserve preserve the, the world things okay listen some of the things we are using air and yes yes so yeah some more years we are using some are using the grandmother things yes yeah like here is it Whenever someone from my family came or to visit us, my grandfather cooks. Okay, somebody coming to our house. Yes, why they are coming for tasting your grandmother 
dishes is for lunch if someone from my family comes over to visit us my grandmother cooks a heritage dish for lunch grandmother has a very old notebook full of recipes yes the grandmother have a very has very old notebook full of recipes and to say that the notebook has been handed down from mother to daughter from five generations yes for some of them using more generations and generations there is secretary thesis is notebook held down to doctor for five generations each nowadays uh, we keep all the information uh, systems yes from the document means is sent to the computers or laptop yes some things um, uh, old heritage yes or paintings yes paintings some <coughs> some sculptures yes some of things or you know some of the animals yes animals collection some of the plants all will be in the museums yes they preserve yes is a the grandmother has a very old notebook full of recipes and she says that the notebook has been handed down from mother to daughter for five generations every dish from that recipe book turn out to be delicious okay every dish from that recipe book turn out to be delicious the children are not allowed to touch the book because the paper is so old and crumbly yes the paper is very old and crumbly if it touch means the paper will be tear one day grandmother was close to tear i am afraid to turn the page she said the paper may tear all this wonderful recipe will be lost forever we got together and made a plan what do you think you told her how we can able to pressure yes throw it away it's a tearing so it no yes yes it's good not good yes Nowadays, uh, the laptop and computers are there. Yes, read their recipes and we'll type them out in a computer. Yes, you save into the data. Yes, that way you can preserve the book and you can also use the recipes. Yeah, are you clear? Can you see? These days, there are all kinds of new scientific way to preserve old things. Yes, that they will not fall. Yes, what are the things? you know the museums we can preserve the paintings yes some of the paintings and is a some of the um, yes sculptures and you know, the animals collections yes is all the things are preserved in museums yeah are you clear no you will take your booklet meanings first one pen knife okay what is the meaning of pen knife switch knife okay what is the meaning of pen knife switch knife okay second one scatter disperse scatter meaning disperse what is the meaning of scatter disperse monuments memoria monuments memoria okay the next one heritage inheritance what is the meaning of heritage inheritance treasure valuables treasure valuables yeah the next fill in the blanks what is the first question the teacher took a small framed dance out of her bag photograph okay the teacher took a small framed dance out of her bag photograph we dance our names on old monuments we carve our name on old monuments it is our duty to protect our dance treasure from damage architectural architectural the caves of dance is one of the example of our architectural heritage agenda and elora agenda and elora my grandmother could say dance for lunch heritage dish for lunch then true or false first question rich heritage of arts and craft ancient books can be seen in the national museums yes true 
examples of our heritage tell the story of our country through the centuries true the teacher did not fling the photograph to the floor false yes, she threw the photograph yes heritage is our treasure true the old notebook full of recipes has been handed down from mother to daughter for five generation yes okay dear students in this lesson what you understand yes we learn about the respect the heritage of our land yes respect we want to, we want to respect the heritage of our land yes we want to protect yes we make sure that the heritage will last for many more years so we want to protect our heritage we want to give respect our heritage yes are you clear students thank you